There's a lot more to this kick. And a lot more to Isaac Lufkin than his winning field goals. I want to play in the NFL for you the do. Ravens or... You want to keep wearing purple? Yeah, purple. He's still riding high from an undefeated season and the freshman football state title. He led his division in onside kick recoveries this year. Remarkable considering this is what Isaac goes through just to suit up. You don't want anyone's pity? No, I don't like pity. Pity just makes me weaker. He means it. Yes, I don't like people helping me because, you know, it makes me feel like I can't do it. I drop my backpack and someone helps me pick it up. I drop it again and I pick it back up because if I can't do it, no one else is going to be able to do it sooner or later. For me, I see him put on his football jersey and I'm just filled with pride because he's my little football star. There's no question Isaac has overcome an unimaginable challenge, moving beyond the arms he was born without to the perseverance born within. Isaac Ruffin will again kick off the classical. As soon as he walked in, I pointed and said, you're a place kicker. His potential was immediately obvious to classical high school athletic director Bob Palazzo. I would not be the guy that would want to tell him he couldn't do something, put it that way. What does he do for his teammates? I think he gives him hope. I mean, you see a guy with no arms, strap up and put a helmet on, and launch himself into a, a violent pile, you know, and get up and smile. Palazzo calls Isaac's knack for accuracy a skill that's tough to teach. You want to do more than kick? Yes, I want to be a defensive lineman. Hit people? Yeah, hit people. They can't grab my arms, they can't grab my jersey. The only thing they can do is actually block, but I can still crawl under them and then they, it's not like they can sit on me. They just, they gotta let me through. His determination was clear from the beginning. This is Isaac learning how to dress himself. I give up. No. No, don't, don't give, up. give up. There you go. Yes. Very yes. good. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Here he is throwing a football as a toddler with his shoulder. He never gave up. It wasn't easy for him but he never gave up. Is he disabled? No, I don't find him disabled at all. And I never looked at him that way. I always knew this, the sky was the limit. Today, Isaac can do nearly anything on his own. Eggs sunny side up, no problem. High five. Yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. He's not always gonna have somebody there to do everything for him. So that was my greatest gift to him, was to be independent. He's learned how to do remarkable things with his feet. Eating ice cream, playing the keyboard, <laughs> even video games. As a child, Isaac navigated the world with his toes. Now in high school, he has also learned to use his chin, shoulder, and what he calls his stub. There have been bullies. This one kid, he just, he wouldn't stop. Uh, he'd whack me in the back of the head with notebooks. He'd shove me onto the ground and then he'd laugh at me. Then he'd take my sleeves and tie them around my throat. But football... ...and his killer onside kick have brought a new sense of pride and acceptance. Some say you're like a secret weapon on the team. Is that true? Yes, because at first, like, when I first do my onside kick, I'll, ha I'll run up to a guy, he'll have to block me, and I'll fly backwards, like, I'm easy to block. And then the second time around, I'll just juke him and I'll go hit a guy and he won't expect it, so he won't block me. And then I get him at his weakest point. What do you think you've done for your football team well, this year? Now they can't be lazy. Because now they, they know no matter what, they have no excuse not to show up to practice. They have no excuse not to catch the ball or throw the ball or run the ball or block. Because if I can kick a ball and set it up and do my own thing, they can do their own thing. In what may be even more astonishing, Isaac's not the first armless kicker at Classical. Exactly 50 years ago, in 1963, Chris Schumann led the Classical varsity football team to the state championship title, prompting President Kennedy to send him this letter. It's his example that has opened the door for Isaac to dream big. I want to see if we can go undefeated for four years straight. Is he destined for greatness in one way or another? I think he's already achieved it. He's overcome things that I don't know if I could overcome, and he's, and he's managed to bring our whole program to another level. I knew it before he was born, and he will be great. 
and he will be everything that everybody said he wasn't going to be. And in so many ways, he already is. Yeah, he absolutely is. Hats off to you, Isaac and Wolf. You know, I was just so happy to see he could get beyond the bullies through all of that. He is so well liked. He's so popular at his school. People love him, and he brings something that no one else can bring to his team, to his classmates, to his family. He's a remarkable young man. It's, it's amazing. 1963, President Kennedy yes. sent a letter to another armless kid at that at the same, same high school I that also won the state championship that year. I, I'm hoping our friends at the White House are watching <laughs> right now because you know what President Obama needs to do. Right, right. You know, I hope they're watching as well. And we really are going to make sure the two of them get to meet the, the two armless kickers because Chris Schumann, the kicker in 1963, said it was that letter from President Kennedy that made him move here to D.C., join um, join the public sector. He's been working for the government for 41 years. And he said to me today, the story about Isaac brought back a flood of memories. So we're going to make sure the two of them get to they meet. They should get together. And I suspect uh, President o Obama will follow in President Kennedy's footsteps. We shall see. Let's hope. We'll be watching. Excellent work. Thanks so much. Thanks, Wolf.